Creative Business Cup is a competition for startups, for entrepreneurs from the creative industry. And uh, me and my jury members are listening to a lot of pitches and giving some feedbacks, and then we need to find the winners. Who is going to compete against uh, 80, 80 plus countries in the global finals? And then, of course, trying to see whether whether they are like filling out any gaps. And to get a perspective of what uh, the next generation are thinking about. Uh, think that we need, what kind of innovations we need. From uh, young people who've thought out how to make a better world through their businesses. It's a fashion brand with focus on sustainability. So Skip It uh, was born on the premise that everybody should be able to travel like a local in a new city. We are here with our product which is called Horus, which is a tracking technology for cameras. We make sustainable Danish design furniture with a very high content of recycled materials. We work with circular economy in this full circle. It was a great experience, a very nice and enjoyable jury. Uh, they asked me, I would say, many different questions uh, and they were really interested in the business. Uh. We're going to meet a lot of different startups, but also the, the people in the jury is so nice for us because we can meet different uh, people there and also maybe in their network afterwards uh, get into connection with people that could be really interesting in what we do. It was really, really good. Um, I love the whole setup of the uh, rabbit pictures and the very varied companies. I think I was actually quite amazed about the, the level of uh, inventions um, and the broad, the broadness of them. You know, so because creativity is a lot of things, and it, it, it now applies into many different industries, and which is which is great. I guess everybody is always interested in some original ideas where they can be surprised. Someone who fills in a gap where. There's not a company today that I have met who can do the same. So, and someone who has creative as a top of the solution. I think I took it like one step back. I said, what well, has the potential and with the right support and then they will, they will reach that next step. Be sure to tell uh, the story about what is uh, your idea doing for the rest of us. I'm sure there's going to be uh, a lot of these pitches that's going to be in the real, real products in the future. Yes. Uh, the opportunity to participate in the Creative Cup is great. We're meeting people from all over Denmark. We're thrilled to be here and be with 19 other companies. So it means a lot for a small startup to be able to reach out to more people. and To get out there and get to know people and get contacts, but also to get new new views on your business, a new perspective. You get to connect, you get to share networks, and it's just a great opportunity to get the word out about your idea. I'm excited to see all the creative solutions and uh, show mine as well. And also we went through uh, some pitch training with Connect Denmark, which is really beneficial for us, uh, helped us to communicate in a, in a strong way. So it's a great opportunity to network and link with an, like a lot of other inspiring companies. We live in a basement, so we don't get out that much. And so it's awesome to get out. Uh, see other people switch startups doing the same thing. And it makes really getting the interest of many different investors much easier. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to be a part of this and really appreciate the efforts. So I think just the way they set the whole thing up and the people behind it, the, um, the jury, the network, that alone is worth participating in. So, uh, I ask the jury members to complete their votes as fast as possible. <laughs> this is actually one that I really hope succeed because it's something I will use personally once Corona is gone, and that's skip it. <laughs> really strong competition so we're really lucky to come out on top. Like just by participating in this it, it, it provides you with good publicity of course and, and awareness and uh, that's all you basically need as a startup in the beginning yeah. to get uh, as much awareness as you can. Yeah.